six gold. How are you today? By the way, my name is Teacher Sheila and I will be your science teacher for today. How are you today? Are you still sleepy? I hope you are not because I have prepared a lesson for us to learn from and enjoy. But before that, let us start our class with a prayer first. Kindly stand up everyone. All right, Athena, can you please lead the prayer? Thank you for leading the prayer, Athena. But before you take your seat, can you pick up the pieces of cashes and papers under your tables and chairs and put it in the designated bin? All right, you may, talk, you may now take your seat, everyone. So for now, let us check your attendance first. If I call your name, you state your favorite color. Understood? All right. Bunior Athena Joyce. Violet. Oh, I see that your favorite color is violet. All right. So, Buchan Aizame. Gold. All right. Your favorite color is gold. I see. So, very good, grade 6 gold. You are all present for today. Keep it up, grade 6 gold. Now, before we start our lesson, let us be reminded of our classroom rules. What are those again? Alright, be a good friend. Very good, raise your hand. Be a good listener. Be kind. Take turns. Share. Help others. Say please and thank you and, of course, clean up. Alright. Alright, do you remember our last lesson? Who can tell me? Raise your hand if you want to answer everyone. Alright, Athena raised her hand. What is it, Athena? Very good. We tackled about the faces of the moon. What do you call the changes of the moonlight's shape as the moon revolves around this, the earth? Yes, Isaac. Excellent answer. It is called the faces of the moon. How about what are the five main faces of the moon? Yes, Athena. All right, very good. The five main faces of the moon are new moon, crescent moon, Quarter moon, gibbous moon, and full moon. Last one, what are the eight phases of the moon within a month? Yes. Yes, Isa. Very good. The eight phases of the moon within a month are new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waxing, waxing gibbous, Full quarter, last quarter, and one in crescent. All right, good job, everyone. You really remembered our topic last meeting. Okay, now let us say goodbye to the moon and let us continue to our journey and explore more about the outer space. Are you ready? All right, so did I. Now, I would like you to meet the eight planets in the solar system through a song. Are you excited? Alright, so here it is. Sound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets go round and round, round and round, round and round. The eight planets go round and round, all around the sun. The first planet is Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. The first planet is Mercury, the closest to the sun. The second planet is Venus, Venus. Venus, the second planet, Venus, the hardest planet. The third planet is Earth, Earth, Earth. The 
Our planet is Earth, our home planet. The fourth planet is Mars, Mars, Mars. The fourth planet is Mars, the red planet. The fifth planet is Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter. The fifth planet is Jupiter, the largest planet. The sixth planet is Saturn. Saturn, Saturn, the sixth planet is Saturn. It has brilliant rings. The seventh planet is Uranus, Uranus, Uranus. The seventh planet is Uranus, an ice giant planet. The eighth planet is Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. The eighth planet is Neptune, the farthest from the sun. Their planets of solar system, solar system, solar system. Their planets of solar system, planets of solar system. All right, did you enjoy the song? Yes, so did I. Now I have here a picture of eight planets. You are to study and observe the illustration of the planet order and sizes in our solar system. And identify all the eight planets outward from the sun, left to right, and describe their appearances, sizes, and apparent distances from the sun. Then, I will give you five minutes to observe, and after that, I will, I will ask you some questions. Is that understood? Alright. Alright, time is up. I told you a while ago that I will ask you some questions, right? Alright, before I start, I will give some reward to those students who can answer my questions correctly. Are you all ready now? Alright, very good. My first question is, which planet is nearest to the sun? Yes, Athena! You raise your hand. Okay. So, the answer is Mercury. Very good, Athena. Here is your reward. All right. The second question. Which is the farthest? Which is the farthest? Yes, Isa. Very good, Isa. It is Neptune. Very good. Here is your reward, Isa. All right, so the third question, what planet is the smallest? Hmm, yes, Athena. Very good, Athena. It is Mercury. So the last question, do you think Venus is inhabited? Why? Yes, Isa. All right, no, because Venus is a very hostile place and it is impossible for life to exist on Venus. Very good observation, Isa. All right. Good job, everyone. Now, let us know more about the planets and its characteristics. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wandering. Planets are called as such because they are always moving. The planets in our solar system are divided into two groups. These are the inner planets and the outer planets. The inner planets are the four planets closer to the sun and they are called terrestrial planets. The outer planets are those farther from the sun and they are called Jovian planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the four inner planets. They are called terrestrial planets because, like the Earth, these planets are made mostly by rocks and have few and no moons. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. It has an average distance of 58 million kilometers from the Sun 
an equatorial diameter of 4,880 kilometers, kilometers. It revolves around the sun in a period of 88 Earth days and rotates slowly on its axis once in 59 Earth days. Because of its nearness to the sun, Mercury has a very high daytime temperature, reaching its hottest temperature at 430 degrees Celsius, and very low nighttime temperature, dropping to a very cold negative 180 degrees Celsius. Slightly larger than the Earth's moon, it is the smallest planet in the solar system. Its surface is full of craters, and it has no moon or rings around it. Venus is the second nearest planet to the Sun. It has an average distance of 108 million kilometers from it. It has almost the same size and density of the Earth. It is a rocky planet and has an equatorial diameter of 12,104 kilometers. It has mountains, craters, and volcanoes on its surface. It's at atmosphere is made up mostly of carbon dioxide which is a surface temperature that arises to more than 470 degrees celsius the thick atmosphere traps heat in a runway greenhouse effect making it the hottest planet in our solar system with surface temperature hot enough to melt a lead the thick layer of clouds in venus atmospheres reflect sunlight very well, making it the brightest object in the sky next to the moon, as seen from Earth. It is often called evening star or morning star. Venus rotates from east to west once every 243 Earth days and revolves around the sun for 225 Earth days. Like Mercury, it has no moon and ring around it. Next is the Earth. Earth is the only planet in the solar system that can sustain life. It is known as the blue planet because it looks like blue as seen from the outer space. Earth has an average distance of 1.49 million kilometers from the sun and has an equatorial diameter of 12,756 kilometers. About 70% of the Earth is covered by water and about 30% is covered by land. It, its atmosphere is made of mostly 77% nitrogen and 21% oxygen with traces of organ, carbon dioxide, and water. The presence of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide is the distinct characteristics of Earth that makes it habitable. Oxygen gas it is used by plants, animals, and human beings to burn food to produce energy. Carbon dioxide is used by plants to make food for the animals and human beings. The average surface temperature of planet Earth is 15 degrees Celsius. This temperature is another distinctive characteristic that makes Earth habitable. It allows water to exist in three forms, namely the ice, liquid, and vapor. It is also very important in maintaining a climate that allows life to exist on Earth. It takes 365 and one fourth days for the Earth to complete its revolution and 24 hours to complete its rotation. The Earth has only one moon that revolves around it every 273 days. Mars. Mars is called the red planet. It looks like red because of the presence of iron in its surface. Mars has an equatorial distance of 6 1,788 kilometers. Its average distance from the sun is about 227 million kilometers. Mars has a very thin atmosphere which consists largely of carbon dioxide and a percentage of gases. Mars has an average surface temperature of negative 63 degrees Celsius. It is also
also known for its volcanoes. Volcanoes. It has one of the largest volcanoes in the solar system called the Olympus moons. Mars takes about 687 Earth days to complete its revolution. Like Earth, it takes 24 days to complete its rotation. Mars has two moons. Now let us move forward to the outer planets or the Jovian planets. The outer planets such as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called Jovian planets because like Jupiter, these planets are large and gaseous. Jove is another term or another name for the Roman god Jupiter. So, Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is bigger and heavier than all other planets combined. It has an equatorial diameter of 142,984 kilometers. The average distance from the sun is about 774 million kilometers. Jupiter is covered with thick clouds. There is no solid ground in Jupiter. It is called a gas giant planet, which is made up mostly of hydrogen, helium, rather than rocks and metals as Earth. The average surface temperature on the top of its on its clouds can reach about 149 degrees Celsius. Jupiter takes 12 Earth years to complete one revolution and 10 hours to complete its rotation. It has a huge storm in its atmosphere called the Great Red Spot. Jupiter has 50 moons with an additional of 17, 17 moons recently discovered and currently, and currently being confirmed. One of its moons Ganymed, Ganymed is the largest in the solar system. Next, we have Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, which has an average distance of 1.4 billion kilometers from it and it is the farthest planet visible to the naked eye. Saturn has an equatorial diameter of 120,536 kilometers. It takes 10.7 Earth hours for Saturn to complete a rotation and 29 Earth years to complete a revolution. Saturn is a cold planet. The temperature on the top of the Saturn's clouds can reach about negative 176 degrees Celsius. Like Jupiter, Saturn is also a gas giant without a solid surface. It is composed mostly of hydrogen and Helium. There are 53 known moons surrounding Saturn. Its largest moon is Titan. It is the second largest moon in the solar system. Uranus, the only planet that rotates on its side. Side. Uranus is the seventh planet on the solar system and it is the first planet discovered by means of a telescope. Its average distance from the sun is about 2.9 billion kilometers. It is four times bigger than the Earth. Its diameter is about 50,800 kilometers. The planet is considered an ice giant because it is mostly made up of frozen water, methane, and ammonia. Its atmosphere is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Astronomers believe that these gases give the planet its bluish-green color. Its average surface temperature can reach about negative 215 degrees Celsius. As I said a while ago, Uranus is the only planet that rotates on its sides. It takes 17 hours to complete its rotation and 84 Earth years to complete its revolution. Its equatorial diameter is 51,118 kilometers. Uranus has 11 rings around it. These rings are dark, narrow, and widely spaced. The planet has 27 moons. Titania is the largest moon of Uranus. Neptune. 
Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun and is the first planet to be discovered using mathematical calculations before confirmed by a telescope. Its average distance from the Sun is 4.5 billion kilometers. Neptune rotation lasts about 16 Earth hours. It completes one revolution around the Sun every 165 Earth days. The planet also has no solid surface. It is a gas giant with a surface of temperature of negative 214 degrees Celsius, mostly the same as Uranus. Its equatori equatorial diameter is 49,532,000 ,000 kilometers. Neptune and Uranus are called the twin planets because they have about the same size and mass. They also both look blue-green because of methane gas in their atmosphere. Neptune has six dark rings made up of very fine particles. It has 13 moons and the largest of which is called the Triton. Now let's talk about the dwarf planet. One of the examples of dwarf planet is Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet beyond Neptune. It is used to be considered as a planet, but in the year 2006, it was degraded, degraded into a dwarf planet because it did not meet the International Astronomical Union or IAU criteria for planets. Alright, now that we know the eight planets in the solar system and its characteristics, let us have some recap first. So, what are the eight planets in the solar system? Yes, Athena, you're raising your hand. Very good, excellent answer, Athena. The eight planets in our solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, and Neptune! Very good, everyone! Excellent! Good job! So, my next question is, what is the largest planet in the solar system? Yes, Isa! Very good, Isa! It is Jupiter! Alright, you really did listen very well to me earlier! Very good, everyone! Now, to test your knowledge, I will ask you some questions to know if you really understood, if you really indeed understood our discussion. Just raise your hand if you want to answer. Alright, so the first question is, which of the following is the terrestrial planet? A. Neptune B. Uranus C. Earth D. Jupiter all right, Isa, you're raising your hand. Very good. It is letter C, Earth. How about number two? Which is the hottest planet in our solar system? Is it A, Mercury, B, Venus, C, Jupiter, or D, Earth? Yes, Athena. Excellent! Precisely, Athena, it is Venus. Very good. Third question. Why do planets have different periods of revolution around the sun? Is it letter A, some of them have no atmosphere? B, they differ in sizes and color? C, they have different distances from the sun? Or is it letter D? They have the same number of moons and rings. What do you think is the answer? Yes, Athena, you're raising your hand again. Very good, Athena. It is letter C because they have different distances from the sun. All right, very good, everyone. Now, all right, now for the last question. Which planet was first discovered by a telescope? Is it letter A, Neptune? B. Jupiter, 
C. Saturn or D. Uranus? Yes, Isa! Very good, Isa! The first planet that was discovered in the means of telescope is Uranus! You're absolutely right, Isa! Thank you for answering! So now, I have a question. Among the eight planets in the solar system, Earth is the only planet that sustains life. As one of the residents on this planet Earth, how can you protect our planet? Yes! Yes, Athena! Very good, Athena! Athena said that in order for us to protect our planet, we need to segregate our trash properly and avoid burning plastics. How about you, Isa? Precisely, Isa! Isa said that we need to plant more trees. Indeed, all your answers are correct. We need to segregate our trash properly and avoid burning plastics. Also, we need to plant more and more trees. Planting trees should be given a massive attention. Above all, a tree is the source of oxygen. Unfortunately, due to the construction, many trees have been cut down. This certainly reduces the amount of oxygen in the environment. Growing more trees means more oxygen. Hence, growing more trees would mean better life quality. Thank you for that answer, Isa. And similarly, people must give attention also to the forest conser conservation. Forests are vital for the environment, isn't it? Alright, because environment vital for the environment. However, deforestation, deforestation certainly uh, reduces the area of forests around the world. The government must launch programs to conserve the forest. And the government must also make uh, harming forests as a criminal offense. But aside from that, we ourselves also are, we have also the role in protecting our planets in our own little ways. We can plant trees in our backyards and avoid burning plastics as well. So thank you everyone for that very, very good answer on how to protect and conserve our planet. So now I will give you a group project. I will group you into five groups. All you have to do is to construct a model of the solar system, just like this one. Alright, so the deadline of your group project is on Friday. Remember, Friday next week, June 15, 2022. So I will give you the list of the materials and also the materials needed and also the criteria so that you will be guided on how to make it, okay? Now, for your assignment, I will give you a worksheet. This worksheet. Listen, everyone, listen. And you are to attach it and staple it in your assignment notebook. Don't forget to answer it because we will check it next meeting. Kindly get one and pass. Athena, can, can you get one and pass? Alright, I think that would be all for today. Don't forget your group project and assignment. Again, the group project will be passed on June 15th, Friday, and your assignment will be checked on the next meeting. Understood? Alright, so before we end, kindly stand up everyone. Let us have a prayer. Isa, can you please lead a prayer? Alright. Thank you, Isa, for leading the prayer. So it's time for us to say goodbye. And thank you, Green Six Gold. You can now evaporate. Enjoy your lunch and see you around. Bye.